Hello everyone, welcome to yet another live with Think Institute of Design. So unlike the last year, JE has declared the results a bit more earlier. We had to wait a long time last year, that is in 2022 to get the results actually. But very interestingly, JE has, result, uh, JE has declared the session one BR results. Most of you are already aware, we had done a very short video and let you know regarding the results that were published by today morning. So in this particular live, we're going to deal with two things. One is we've since we've started collecting our details, we have got a few of the results of our students and we would be sharing that. And along with that, because a lot of students have been asking about college prediction, I know it's very difficult to actually do a college prediction during or after the first session itself. Ideally, we should be able to do the second session results and with that we'll get a last time uh, with, with that we'll get a rank details of yours and it will only be based on that that we'll be able to do a college prediction but since a lot of students have been asking we'll do a very brief one this time okay so the results and college prediction these are the two things that we would be covering in this particular live so everyone who has joined if you have any questions queries and all please do post it up in the live chat box okay now to announce the results of uh, think institute of design we have with us somebody who is special we have the academic head of think institute of design sachin sir with us so sachin sir am i audible yes sir you are clearly audible am i clearly audible to you yes sir your sound is good firstly congratulations yes. and oh, uh, the stage you, is all exactly. yours Okay, thank you. So hi everyone. So the J paper to BR result, the session one, the 2023 session one results are out. So uh, we are really happy to announce this year's results of Think Institute of Design. So we always kept our result. We always kept our legacy to be continued through our students with a very good results. So uh, this year also that legacy has been carried through and uh, we are so much happy to announce this year's results from Think and Store Design. I think uh, last year also, there were so many good results and we have topped the table with uh, the Kerala topper, Asai Sugumaran in 2022. So that was the top results from Think and that was around 99.80, the percentile of size. And this year for the 2023 JEBR results from Think and Store Design, Fatehur Rahman tops the percentile with 99.91. So that is the top scorer. So Fateh, who is the top scorer from Think with 99.91 percentile. So last year it was 99.80 and this year it was 99.91. So that's a very good results from you know, Fateh. So it's 99.91. So that's the top scorer from Think. And so uh, around 22 plus students has, an, uh, has been scored uh, 99 above percentile for the session one. And as of now, so Fateh, who is the top scorer from results, so we have been updating the results. We have been updating from our online, offline batches all over Kerala and outside Kerala. So it is still now, as of now, from the updations, so Fateh, who tops the table with 99.91 percentile. And around, like I mentioned, for 22 plus students have scored 99 above percentile and around 40 plus student has so scored above 98 percentile. So let me announce the other results also. So it's 99.91 is the top score from Think and Alia PK has scored 99.88 percentile in the first session of JEBR. And uh, Shamika Shah Jahan with 99.985 percentile and Vishnu Priya has scored 99.85 percentile. And Richu Saji has scored 99.83 percentile. Mary Nia has scored 99.79 percentile. So Hania has scored 99.75 and Ajiba Jafar has scored 99.60 percentile. Nadia Anwar has scored 99.56 and Abhinash has scored 99.48 percentile. And Rachel S. Thomas percentile is 99.38 and RK Nantini with 99.38 percentile, Manasi Muralidharan with a percentile of 99.3, Nasrin Fatima with 99.32, Nadda Nasim with 99.32 percentile, Shaba with 99.32 percentile, Manal with 99.2 percentile, Saubarniga with 99.2 percentile, Shivani, uh, so Shivani with 
one three percentile course can you move backward ashwak with 99.13 percentile khadija with 99.13 and ashwadi shahjan with 99.0x so again the 22 plus students has scored 99 percentile in je br 2022 session from think and store design and it's a proud mo moment from the think family and congratulations everyone for your achievement and you have topped the table and we you have a very good results and uh, one thing so just the session 1 is over we are expecting the session 2 on april uh, so there will be students who haven't yet scored to the expectation but don't worry you have the session coming all the way at april 6 onwards so be prepared for that and i think the paper one so comparatively uh, almost everyone said the paper one was comparatively uh, tougher like on the mathematics session so for everyone mathematics kind of subjects were really tough in session one but i think uh, apart from that kind of things this year's result is quite uh, good for everyone so with a quite bit more uh, practice and uh, much more preparations methods you can definitely score much more better in the upcoming april session and for those those preparation we are coming with our crash batches starting from march 20th onwards we have different batches starting from march 20th 29 and april 3rd and those who wish to improve their scores i think don't give up from the first session you have a very long time to prepare for the upcoming april session so go for it so we also with you with these kind of programs so definitely if you want to score up we if you want to prepare with think instead design definitely you can go for our crash programs so i think with that uh, i will we will move on to, with the next uh, session so uh, suraj sir i think it's on yes sir thank you so uh, thank you uh, thanks a lot sir for uh, that small session we would be talking about some of the frequently asked questions which students have been asking so we've just compiled a few of the questions we also have a few last rank details and predictions that uh, we would be doing based on the percentile of last year any other questions that you have please do post it below this particular video like below the live chat if you Uh, have any questions please do not hesitate if you are watching the recorded session of this you can post it as a comment also in these videos okay so as mentioned already congratulations to everyone who has got great results to all those students who have probably trying to write the session to or trying again for better results and all please do not give up you do have good amount of uh, opportunity you have good ample amount of time also you have also got a few i think patterns of uh, session 1 so based on that you can prepare for session 2 also okay now regarding the results you can go on to nta's website click on the right bottom corner i think this is something that's familiar for everyone click on that particular link je main 2023 session 1 paper 2 result you will be taken to a page like this click on okay and give your credentials credentials includes your application number and uh, your date of birth you click on that you will get something like this it will basically have the brief idea about you the details that you have given and along with that you will be able to get the score also so here you can see paper 2 br what's the score so if you have written b um paper 2b also that is if you have written the planning paper also then you will have that score also otherwise if you are writing session 2 once you write session 2 you will get something like this along with that that means uh, you will get you will get the session 1 score along with that after your session 2 you will get a session 2 score and after that you will get the net score not net score the highest score that is compared to session 1 and session 2 if you are writing session 2 compared to session 1 and session 2 which would be the highest that would be put in and it will only be in the session 2 after the session 2 that you will get a rank okay in this case you won't be getting a rank i hope that is clear so after session 1 you won't be getting a rank it will be after session 1 and session 2 combining both of that and taking the highest scores that they will be giving you the rank details and things like that okay so that is one thing that mainly we had to say a lot of students have been asking about what is the cut off so unlike in case of nid prelims or unlike in case of uc or nata there is no cut off in case of je paper 
two that is for br paper there is no separate cut off okay they don't say that if you get beyond this particular score you have cleared the cut off no there is nothing like that there are only last ranks in which students get into spas and nits and all okay there were also students who were asking about can i apply for je advanced and all please note in case of je paper 2 that is for br paper there is no advanced there is only one paper that is je paper 2a for br it happens in session 1 which is already conducted the second one is expected in session 2 that is april so two times a year you can write it whichever is the highest percentile that you are getting in those two exams that would be taken based on that you will get a rank and based on your ranks you will be called for counseling by josa okay so again third question how much is the qualifying percentile for je paper 2 again no qualifying percentile per se okay whatever you are getting you can apply with that particular percentile okay and uh, with respect to that you will get a rank based on that rank you will be invited for colleges okay so there is no uh, business of uh, je advanced and all now to the last question i got 98.8 percentile which colleges can i get into as i said in the beginning it's very difficult to predict where you can get if you have if we only have percentile just with the percentile data it is very difficult to predict because to get clearly an idea of where you can get into which college you can get into we need to have the rank details that is which rank you have got it is only based on that that we can give a good relatively correct prediction so because that is not there it's a bit difficult but still we have compiled the data for the last year so based on this you get an idea of various categories so if you are somebody who belong to the let's say general category if you have got 99 point let's say 5 percentile then there is a chance that you might get a rank somewhere between 200 250 300 and all and you have the chances of getting into nit calicut now there are lot of factors in this home state uh outside state then um, your rank how many other students are writing and all this is purely based on 2022 it may vary in 2023 it may be the same in 2023 we never know there could be slight differences also so take it with a pinch of salt take it with uh, the assumption that it may go wrong so we are just giving you this details to calm your nerves okay Uh, so the category has also been mentioned here obc category sc category uh, all the categories have been mentioned and some of the colleges were in uh, previous students of ours have got into their category rank and also their common rank that is crl that has also been given okay so we hope with this you can get a brief idea of where exactly you could be but again as i said earlier that is not what you should be concerned as of now you should be concerned only about session 2 it should only be after session 2 that you should be wondering about where you will get into and all okay because it's very difficult to predict as of now so students who are preparing for je paper 2 they can join the courses 20th 29th march and 3rd april we have new batches um, that are coming up uh, and secondly if there are students who are preparing for let's say nata if you're preparing for nata also you can focus now very well there are students who've got 99.9 percentile they could focus on nata if they're interested in um, you know local colleges or state level colleges and all if there are students who haven't got good marks in uh, je paper 2 if you haven't good got good percentile in je paper 2's session 1 there are again multiple options you have good amount of time right now you can either start preparing for nata you can decide you don't want to prepare for je you can solely completely focus on nata the other thing that you can do is you can focus on je and also you can focus on nata so you can write both the exams and i would always suggest you to write both the exams because it always makes uh, multiple options multiple options are always better towards the month of july august and all when you don't have many colleges that you have got into so if you have both the rank, both these ranks it would be very helpful there are certain colleges some counseling bodies which accept je scores also but most of them accept nata so please do write nata okay movie hub is asking can i get how can i get uh, the complete list we haven't uh, com compiled the complete list again to get an accurate prediction uh, it's better to do it um, after session 2 results so i think that is when we'll be coming up with a fuller uh, huge uh, better rank prediction okay if there are any further questions uh, we have given our number you can contact us directly at 8086110024 if you are confused about what to do if you are confused about what 
path to choose right now should i go for nata only or should i go for je2 only or should i go for both if you're confused about all those things also please do not hesitate please don't think that you if you're not a think student we might not help you or there's nothing like that anyone anybody any doubts that you have regarding architecture or design entrance exams you can contact us you can talk to us either in english hindi or malayalam whatever is the language that you're comfortable you can contact us we would always be happy to help you out okay so we have our curiosity sessions that are coming up curiosity quizzes that are coming up we just were waiting for some of the exams and all to be over so that we'll re we'll be restarting the quizzing series so the online quizzing series we would be starting very soon from yesterday onwards we had already started our daily daily practice question daily practice question you can find it either in our youtube community or in our telegram page or instagram anywhere anywhere you are following us you can find the questions every day one question would be asked the next day the answer of the same would be provided okay so the dpq series and the curiosity series we would be restarting we would also be coming up with other sessions wherein we'll help you prepare about topics and things like that okay uh angel maria is asking sir is the application starts for nata 2023 so i assume you are asking about when is nata 2023's uh, application going to start usually it starts in the month of march so usually it will be the notification would be out by somewhere around march and the exams usually happen in may june july august those four months uh, three three exams would be there okay so three three different exams would be conducted and in that if you are writing all three the average of 2 would be taken as your marks or if you are writing only 2 it will be the highest that would be taken okay any further questions you have about any of these exams be it architecture entrance exams or be it design entrance exams please do not hesitate you can contact us feel free to contact us at these numbers 8086111 488 or 044 or 024 any any number you have any doubts please do not hesitate okay so congratulations to all the students who have got good results congratulations uh, we know there have been lots of students who have been participating via curiosity kahoot quizzes uh, who have been practicing the questions and things like that who have attempted our uh, mock test and things like that so congratulations to everyone also to all those students who haven't uh, attempted our mock test also so congrats to everyone from think institute of design okay we genuinely hope that you will be able to get into the bestest of the bestest colleges this year okay any further doubts you can contact us please do not hesitate and that would be thank you everyone and until we see in the next session thank you everyone thank you host